All right, guys, busting out a lot of the Q&A here, things coming in through the email. And uh, this question comes in from a dad. His son's a pretty high-level wrestler, doing pretty well. And, uh, you know, number one says, my son struggles to find others on his team that will dedicate their off-season to training. That's very difficult. In my experiences, most teams are going to have two or three really dedicated guys. Then most of the guys are just kind of there, you know, they're, it's almost like that, you know, speech, you know, like out of like every 100 soldiers, um, 80 shouldn't even be there. 10 of them are just targets, you know, nine of them do the majority of the fighting and then one, ah, like he's the warrior. I've seen a couple of schools, a couple of towns have this culture embedded and ingrained in them where the parents are all on board, the coaches, the administration, it's super rare, super rare. It's lonely at the top. So your question is, you know, your son doesn't really have any training partners and now the football coaches are recruiting him and uh, you're wondering, is this gonna be very tough? Because essentially high school football, at least here in New Jersey, it depends on where you guys are from, it starts mid-August. That goes right up until Thanksgiving and wrestling season comes in. It's basically seven months back to back. It is tough. Um, also at high school, they start having, you know, mandatory morning weight room workouts. Um, some of those weight room workouts, it depends. Is there a qualified strength coach in there? What's going on in there? What's the technique look like? Are they maxing out every three weeks? Do high school athletes need to max out? I've got answers to all of them. None of them really good answers. So, a couple things. Some wrestlers thrive on that. They love football, so it, it is to their benefit to wrestle um, or to play football and then to wrestle. Others, if your son loves football or he just loves wrestling, doesn't love the football as much, then you need to focus, especially as an upperclassman, I love seeing multi-sport athletes, but you know what? If by junior and senior year he's not loving it, you can specialize. So do the training, do some of the fall tournaments, and uh, prep up for wrestling season. And I'll say this. The question here is, um, what's, you're trying to find the best route for his success. Here's the thing, Randy, is one football team might train in a really high-quality manner, the other one, not at all. They may have a very poor um, strength conditioning. They may have a very poor overall attitude. The team just not filled with winners. Um, they're not supported by, this, by the parents, by the administration. So it's more of an energy, energy drainer versus being a battery charger. Let's say you're in a school where the coaching is awesome. Lots of great energy, great strength conditioning, a lot of support, a lot of people come out for the games. It fires him up. Then it's going to be a plus. So all schools are different. You know, I reached out to a recent, or actually I ran into somebody who um, has been wrestling at a local high school for two years. And he's like, wow, I didn't even know your gym exists. Our town is two square miles. I said, man, I reached out to your coach a lot and offered free training. So really it depends on who are who is leading the kids. Okay? That's the ticket. Are we signing up for the bad news bears or are we signing up for the hammer squad? I want my kid to be on a team with fired up kids, parents that are supportive and don't get in the way. If they have strength and conditioning, show me that you're the best. If you're not the best, give me, you know, give me leeway to take my kids to a place that is better because it's your son. And that's why I get fired up about this stuff. So there you have it. Is it a great? Is it a bonus? If it's not a bonus, then don't do it. Does your son love it? Is it going to be an awesome experience? Then yes, do it. And that will make him better um, in not, rest, not just wrestling, but in other aspects of life. That's it, guys. Hit the links below. Instagram, Facebook, free training courses. Make sure you're on that Strong Life newsletter. And that's it, guys. I'm out. Peace.